and gone up to the 950 to hold that capacity. When I fish for sailfish, I use monofilament because they go, there we go, we're on. That's a tarpon. Look at that, airing out. Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Just had an awesome trip down to Miami. I went to go fish with Peter Miller to make some tarpon fishing tutorials. And as you just saw, uh, one of them got totally interrupted by a big tarpon. Ended up being one of the coolest catches I've seen. There were all sorts of challenges that Peter had to overcome. We had to first of all clear the lines, dodge some sailboats, dodge some kayakers that kept coming too close. Uh, ended up having to go under a bridge and while we did so, got caught in a bunch of lines. It was just pure chaos at, uh, at that point. And then afterwards, some boats came up close. We were in downtown Miami, so, so people were cheering. It was just such a cool experience. So I wanted to share some of that footage with you. Here it is. So right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna reel this other bait in because I can't handle a double header. I, I shouldn't be this relaxed because I'm on video for my Salt Strong family, but I am. I clean up the deck a little bit, pop this forward, it's coming up, coming up by the sailboats. I have a feet by the people. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do now is we're getting close, dangerously close to the bridge. I gotta get, I gotta go chase this guy. He doesn't like what's going on here. We're gonna be going through the bridge. See, now you have a do or die situation. You gotta make the call. He's definitely wanting to go to the bridge. So do I stop him? Can I stop him? That's the question. Yeah, I think it's bridge time. It's about to be bridge time. Yep, things are not looking good around here, folks. Yeah, well he's kinda going under the bridge now. I'm gonna try to shoot I'm gonna try to shoot under the bridge. Thank you. I'm kind of tangled on you a little bit. Yeah. Tarpon. Now we're back under the bridge. Well guys, that's called uh, high impact fishing. Getting mainline wrapped around us. You talk about fishing in those city limits. Look at this, downtown Miami. All the business is going on there and the condos. And here we are catching giant whales. That's right, just one more obstacle. That's how you do it. He's gonna pop up here, you see him there? Nice fish. Look at the size of that thing. Over 100. There he is, coming around the corner. That's right, I need a cheering section. I usually bring them along when I come fishing. Man, that thing's a chunk. Bigger than I thought. Okay, a boat, a kayak, three jet skis, and a boat full of SWAT teams here. Big fish, light tackle. All right, I'm gonna grab one time, it'll probably fall off. Probably break off at that point. Stretch him out. See, they got big mouths. He's probably gonna jump in my face right now. Go for it. Wow, we got a cheering section today, guys. So, you want to keep them in the water. You're not allowed to bring these guys on the boat. The hook is out. Took that hook out real easy. And we got ourselves a 100 plus pound, tar 100 plus pound tarpon. <laughs> we want to show the other boat what's up. We want to get everybody hooked on fishing. Look at this!
Look at that. Look at this. We got a party. Tarpon? Yeah, tarpon. Nice. Okay, so now that you see me doing this, reviving a fish like this, you can't assume that there's no shark that's about to come by and shoot out and literally take my arm off. So when you're in an area that's shark infested, you should always be aware of, it, aware of that. There are bull sharks, there are hammerheads in this area. As I said that, I got scared because I heard a splash. <laughs> and um, so you gotta be aware of that, but it's hard to get out of the way. So I'm just trying to revive this guy. I think he's good. We could probably kick it out of gear and I'm gonna turn him out this way, okay? Once we're out of gear, I'll do it. All right, ready? One, two, three. And he's gonna straighten up, he needed one gulp, and now he's back in business. And from blowing bubbles as he goes away, filling that uh, the air bladder back up. That's salt strong, people. That's salt strong with salt life. It's a very salt with salty water. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just an awesome catch, and throughout the entire catch, Peter did an excellent job at explaining exactly what he was doing to, to make sure that he was wearing that tarpon out as fast as possible. And that information is obviously for our Insider Fishing Club. That was the purpose I went down there is to, to film some, some great tips for our Insider Club. So if you are interested in seeing just the best tips for saltwater fishing, be sure to check out our Insider Fishing Club. I'll put a link down below for more information. But thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Hope you can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wear the line today.